buying an investment on recommendation is it a good idea or bad let's check it out in this video hi guys my name is karan and welcome to your channel and in this video i will be discussing recommendations financial recommendation on stocks um maybe mutual funds uh, especially on stocks maybe uh, do we need to rely on these on these tips on these recommendations we get recommendations in newspaper magazines uh, news channels business channels so let's uh, check this out okay so you saw uh, a recommendation someone gave a recommendation or a tip they call it a tip i'll give you a tip okay so first you check use your common sense okay the person who is giving you a tip who is he is he a is he an authority or is he himself struggling i have lost a lot of money when i have invested money basis tips i will give you the names of the company as well in this video i am i am i am not worried because i have lost a lot of money in these and all of them guys all of them i have invested money basis tips of friends around me so i will be taking names of let's say um, five six companies where i have lost a lot of money and i will say it is lack of um, my studies i was not studying at that point of time i was just uh running that you know i will make money i'll be somebody he is giving me some tip but i should have used my common sense who is he he is at a even a lower level than you in the office and i am asking taking advice from him okay so no offenses guys don't mind anybody can have a good tip but if the tip is so good why is he still poor or why is he that why is that guy not financially free okay so first tip i got which ruined my financials finances nbcc okay it was 200 rupees when i bought it and i got to know that okay this company has order book this that falana falana i invested a lot of money no offenses it's a government company the way they manage their work the projects it's a good company okay but the stock price keep on keep kept coming down i had to sell it at a loss after waiting for 4 years gt infrastructure another another blunder i made in 2017 i invested heavily because at that time the stock was around 6 rupees now go and check it is 1 rupee heavy loss because i trusted somebody sunwarya consumer third company okay i invested i think in 2016 17 stock was 5 rupees it went on to 30 and then came back to 1 rupee just go and check sunwarya consumer huge losses i made I was greedy guys don't be greedy don't be greedy don't follow these random tips which you get from your friends use your mind study read read graham the book value investing by graham read books by philip fisher okay they are the authorities in stock market read book by uh, uh, books by uh, warren buffett they are the authorities you will understand how to evaluate a company how to check their revenue how to check their ebitda how to check their uh, different financial ratios how to check their sales their uh, expenditures then make a calculated decision not just basis tips tips will not make you rich guys have you ever seen a person becoming rich with a tip no 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 it will not happen tip will not make you rich Okay, so I have shared with you a few names where I lost heavily: NBCC, Sunwarya, GTL, Infrastructures, um, maybe few more. Where I had to sell my stocks after waiting for many many years at a loss because they were just sitting in my portfolio and troubling me a lot. They were giving me a very difficult time. Okay, now let's talk about the financial analyst which you see on the newspaper or in the news channel. So, guys, if you you are watching a news channel and they give you a tip okay buy this stock today it will do this it will make you rich so that person he gave you a recommendation basis what information he got maybe he got to he got a information that this company got a order a big order for this much 
and basis that you invested your 1 lakh rupees what is the guarantee that the order will come and the uh, stock price will go up there is no guarantee guys if the same financial analyst changes his mind tomorrow on the same stock we, you will not get to know you will not get to know because you have heard him yesterday and you have invested some money today uh, yesterday itself so you will your money is gone your money is gone maybe the stock will have a lower circuit and you will end up at 90% loss don't trust the financial analyst as well so who will you trust now let's come to the most important point who will you trust first trust yourself will you buy the company's products what are the products if you are buying a domino stock jubilant foods uh you know that you are consuming the product from last 10 years your 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 family loves the product i will invest in that company i i know my 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 friends they love kfc so maybe i will invest in devyani international because they own the KV, uh, if you love burger you invest in burger king also check what is the you know how is the customer you should know that industry basically just don't randomly invest maybe i invested in tita gad wagons someone told me invest in tita gad wagon uh, i do not know anything about tita gad wagons they make railway wagons i have no clue about railway wagons you talk to me about insurance banking uh, food i will understand something something law i will understand something but wagons okay so understand the business before you invest you should know the product is good if you see uh, let's say zomato is doing well okay if if you feel they are doing well they are doing acquisitions use your common sense in the long term this business will grow okay i should invest in their stock okay you invest in zomato i'm just giving you you know random uh, uh, how you should think basically how you should think before investing if you think india's population is growing so the demand of uh, online stuff will go so the so the companies those who are uh, uh, doing deliveries maybe like gati or delivery uh, companies they will do well so maybe you will invest in courier companies think on those those terms if, if you think uh, okay india is growing car demand is growing so all those industries which are associated with cars like tires steerings spare part they will grow so maybe you will invest in maybe mother son or something think on those terms okay shortlist your own companies you are your best judge nobody else will make you rich no tip has made anyone rich you get a tip do your research do your research thorough research study the numbers invest one hour daily to learn stock market to to study how you evaluate a share how you see the growth how you see the numbers okay how you see the different financial ratio debt to equity ratio how much debt the company has okay what are the promoter's share of the equity if promoter is selling his equity why will you invest in that company first of all you should invest only where the promoter is interested in his own company i have seen people investing heavily in companies where promoter has only 5% stake if promoter is not interested in his own company why are you interested in that company just because someone told me this uh, stock will skyrocket it will be a multi bagger don't do it guys you will just repent open books start studying value investing it is okay to buy an expensive stock which will give you let's say a 20% return in a year it is fine it is fine if nothing is clicking go for stocks which are part of our bsc index there are uh, uh, in sensex we have 30 stocks in nifty we have 50 50 uh, top companies so maybe pick something from that that bunch of stocks they are top companies of india okay so without uh wasting any more time guys start doing your own research about the company about the profit about the losses about the debt about the promoters about their own holdings about their future plans about what dividend they are giving about uh, uh what are their uh, growth plans right so guys uh, i wish you all the best start doing your own research it's a wonderful journey and stocks will give you money stay for long term 
select good companies that's the thumb rule stocks means 5 years select good companies stay for 5 years and um, enjoy take care guys bye